strengthening series that we do in our acro class. This will work for beginners, for intermediate, and advanced. There are some ways that we can make it a little bit more advanced, but today we're just going to show you more of the beginner and intermediate. So they're going to start lying down on their stomachs. We're going to lift up into bow pose. In the first bow pose, we're going to actually let them open their legs a little bit. It's a little bit easier. So just a slight 45 degree towards the end of your mats. Arms are out in front of us. We're going to lift up as high as you can and hold for 10 counts. Knees should be up off of the floor. Straight legs and heads coming down on the mat. We'll hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then you paddle it out, swim, one, two. Straight legs, pointy toes, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then you rock our boats, chest, legs, chest, legs. We do this about, let's do two more, last one. And finish. So those boat rocks that we do, lifting your chest and your legs, they're really going to help you with any chest balances, chin stands, especially for beginners because it makes them start to activate the backs of the legs, which is what they're going to need in order to get those feet to their heads to hold those chin stands and chest balances. So that was the first half. Then we're going to repeat that whole sequence with our legs closed together using our inner thighs. It's going to be a little bit harder. Scissors or swimmers aren't going to be quite as big, they're going to be smaller, and same with the boat rocks, they're going to be a little bit smaller and tighter. Ready, we're going to lift up and hold, one, two, so I can walk around and place my hand, and make sure that they're squeezing their inner thighs. Eight, nine, ten, we paddle, one, two, knees are off the floor, five, six, seven, eight, straight elbows, nine, ten, then rock it, chest, legs, chest, legs,